Hi, my name is Mike Foley. I work in the vSphere Tech Marketing Group. My focus is on vSphere security. We're going to be talking about vSphere 6.5 security, what's new. Specifically, vSphere 6.5 enhanced logging and secure boot. For enhanced logging, if you look at the way logs are in 6.0 and 5.x, when I make a change to a virtual machine, all I get is Mike Foley has reconfigured the virtual machine. It doesn't tell me what, what I've done. Have I added an ISO file, or have I moved the virtual machine from the sensitive network to the non-sensitive network? In 6.5, that changes completely. When I make a change to a virtual machine, or to a role, or to a cluster, or any other thing that is a vCenter event, that vCenter event is now coming out via syslog. So when I make that change, I not only get that it's been reconfigured, but it also tells me what it was reconfigured from and what it was reconfigured to. This is actionable logging. This type of data being sent to a solution like Log Insight can provide vast amounts of information to both IT operations and to security. In 6.5, we're introducing secure boot support for the ESXi hypervisor. To better understand how we're going to leverage the secure boot support, we have to understand how ESXi is comprised. Within ESXi, you have the kernel, the bootloader, and a bunch of digitally signed packages called vSphere installation bundles. The file system of ESXi references the contents of those digitally signed packages, which means all we have to do is validate that the package hasn't changed to ensure that the whole ESXi hypervisor file system is OK. We do that using Secure Boot. So as you know with Secure Boot, the UEFI firmware contains a digital certificate. The UEFI firmware confirms that the bootloader itself hasn't changed, typically done with, uh, typically there for uh, catching rootkits. The bootloader then validates the vSphere kernel, the ESXi kernel. The ESXi kernel then validates every single digitally signed VIB against the certificate that is in the UEFI firmware. Only then can you now run vir virtual machines, host D, DCUI, and other ESXi components. Secure boot for virtual machines is even easier. I have a virtual machine uh, using the EFI firmware. All I have to do is check the box of Secure Boot. It is a full UEFI 2.3 implementation for virtual machines, and it works great. For more information, visit blogs.vmware.com slash vSphere, featurewalkthrough.vmware.com, and pubs.vmware.com. Thanks. Thank you.